again and uh, today's video is um, get ready with me uh, this is my everyday makeup tutorial so let's get started so um, I know that I haven't been doing beauty videos for a long time trust me uh, I've been meaning to do it but I was so busy with other things so let's get started and hope you enjoy the look so first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a clip on my hair that it stays out of my face and now that I'm done with that I'm going to take some moisturizer using this uh, moisturizer so I'm just going to take some in my hand I'm going to do rub it in nicely so. now that I'm done with the moisturizer I'm going to let it set for about uh, two minutes and then I'm going to apply uh, an orange color corrector around my eye area so just set that up and I'll be back hi hey guys so I'm done with the moisturizer and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply an orange color corrector around my eyes as you guys can see I do have uh, dark circles and pigmentation on my um, eyelids I do have my own uh, color corrector made so that's how it looks so I'm just going to take some dab it around my eyes let me just try and adjust my mirror so this is what I'm going to do I'm just going to pat the color corrector under my eyes and just blend that a little bit okay I'm just going to try it on my eyelids as well This one, this orange color corrector, I mean you can use any orange color corrector and it's very good if you have any um, pigmentation around your eyes um, or around your mouth. Uh, if the foundation doesn't cover up properly or if the foundation looks very ashy, you can just apply the orange uh, color corrector underneath and then uh, apply the foundation over it. So that will correct the ashiness and uh, the blackness. So I'm just apply a little bit more and just blend it in properly. So right now I'll just try to focus a bit. Okay, so now you can see the difference between this eye and this eye. You can see the difference. So I'm just going to apply uh, it on the other eye as well. Okay, so now that uh, the color, color corrector has been done, I'm going to use uh, my foundation with this uh, foundation brush. It's a flat top brush as you can see, blends nicely. So let me try and just get the hair out of my face. And today I'm using this um, Estee Lauder foundation I'm just gonna put a little bit I forgot to shake it so this is not have a pump I'm going to put a little bit on the back of my hand just that much in case I need more I might take more later on so I'm just going to dab it on my face and blend blend it well and just cover my eyes as well this foundation gives full coverage and it is buildable especially good for combination in oily skins so I'm just going to pat that 
again and blend it nicely Actually one coat of this, one layer of this foundation is enough to give good medium coverage. Do I just look like a clown? <laughs> so I'm just going to try and just, I guess that's too much, just blend it in. into my hairline as well so there is no I don't see any color difference or my face doesn't look made up this foundation brush is very good lens perfectly so I'm just going to apply a second coat my imperfections wherever I have some blemishes my chin and jawline not sure why I have pigmentation around my jawline in fact most women of color do have pigmentation around their jawline so just going to blend some around my eyes as well and this foundation is actually good for concealing as well it gives full coverage so I sometimes just use it as my concealer so I need some more here I do have some pigmentation around the sides of my face as well just blend 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 well so it doesn't look that fake Okay, so I guess I'm pretty much done with the foundation and what I'm going to do next is apply my lipstick. I usually like to apply my lipstick first uh, and then do the base and the other stuff. So today I'm going to use uh, this purple lipstick and uh, it's by Caress. Let me try and zoom it in. I'm not sure if I can focus on that. So it's basically a purple lipstick, glossy and uh, moisturizing. So this is the shade, as you guys can see. Let's try to zoom that in. So this is the shade. And okay, so I am going to apply that my lips this is a very good lipstick if you have um, dry lips you don't even need to moisturize your lips prior to applying the lipstick because it's very moisturizing the pigmentation of this one is really good then again it doesn't stay for that long to coat my lips well with this okay, so I guess that's about the lipstick just going to shut that thing off and now let's see what 
we have here. So I'm just going to powder my face using this uh, Vega uh, powder brush and this uh, powder that I have here from Avon. This is again full coverage. So I'm just going to take some and just dab off the excess. Starting with my nose, my eye area. Just going to get all that thing off on my forehead. I do have an oily T-zone. So that's where I need to concentrate more. Let's see what we have next. So, uh, for my eyes, I'm going to use this eyeshadow from Essence. It's difficult to open up. I'll just try that again. Just for a minute. Okay, so basically, this is the shade. You can see it's called. Um, hyped up so I'm going to take this eyeshadow brush from Sigma it's called the E55 and I'm going to apply that on my eyelids all over the lids that and the other eye as well we blend that well So I'm thinking I'll just use one color all over my eyelids and on the crease as well. I really don't want to do another color for the crease. So I think that's enough. So what I am going to do next is um, I have this eyeliner from uh, L'Oreal. It's called the Super Liner. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. So I'm just going to line my eyes with this. So I'm just going to line my eyes with this. Starting from the end. And then going towards the inner corners. And just wing it out slightly. And then I'm going to do the other eye as well. Doesn't this all look weird? That looks same. So uh, now that I'm done with the eyes, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I haven't done my brows yet. So that's what I'm going to do. I have this eyebrow kit uh, from Beauty UK. So I'm just going to use comes with this brush for the wax and uh, filling in the 
browse so I'm just going to take a darker brown shade and fill in my eyes fill in my eyebrows slightly and try to give it a good shape Brush it in place well. Make sure that you do not deposit too much color uh, at the start of your brows here and here because that really looks weird. Now that I'm done with that, just a little bit more here. Now that I'm done with that, I'm just going to actually I'm not going to use any wax um, on my eyebrows today because I think it's done a pretty good job filling in my brows. So what I'm going to do next is I have this blush brush uh, and I'm just, I'm just going to contour a bit I'm going to start, I'm going to use this Ben Nye eyeshadow for contouring so I'm just going to contour my nose a bit first. Contouring your face is like a very important thing. It's what makes all the difference. And the tip of my nose as well. Okay. So I'm done with contouring my nose and I'm going to contour the cheekbones now. As you can see, this part here, the down part, that's why you need the contouring. If you are not sure, you can just make a fish face like that. To this part. So this is where you make the contouring. So I am just going to take some lightly. And contour the hollows of my cheek. Move it down a bit. on the other side as well we do the same thing um, okay guys so now that I'm done with the contouring I'm just going to use a blush over my contour and a little bit above that so this is the blush that I'm going to use and I'm just going to take some and put some on the apples of my cheek and blend it upwards and then that's it so now that I'm done with the blush I'm going to use a highlighter this is the highlighter that I'm going to use it's called the Maybelline Dream Lumi I'm just going to use some so I'm going to apply the highlighter on my cheekbones as well and just blend it in with my fingers little on my cupid's bow and some on my chin 